Ladies and gents, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that last session there. Still plenty more to come. Do keep checking the agenda online to see what we have still got in store for you for the rest of Event Tech Live, day number two, or day number one, that live here in London. So, as I say, we're going to be joined by a number of guests today, and I'm joined by another guest. Who have we got here? Introduce yourself to our amazing Event Tech Live virtual audience. My name is Cash Shift Dead. I'm the uh, managing director of One More Rental. Uh, we're a uh, global events technology hardware and uh, operations uh, partner for companies. Um, yeah, H HQ right here in London, down the road. Super, well, it's a pleasure to have you here. And in terms of you know previous event tech lives, obviously we've been having a little bit of a chat just offline. You've been here before. How have you found this show so far? I know we're still early days on day number one of the live shows. How have you found the audience, the show so far, compared to previous years? Well, I mean, we've been coming to Event Tech Live for a few years now. We're heavily invested in the show. Um, couple of hours in it's absolutely fantastic I mean you know it's, it's a new venue as well fantastic new venue here at the Excel um, really busy uh, fantastic conversations and uh, um, nice to see everyone without face masks as well this year uh, absolutely in terms of the people I know uh, we've been discussing the types of people who are coming how are you finding in terms of the conversation you have the quality of them who are you meeting when you're coming in who have you met so far this morning well I, I think I think what's absolutely fantastic about event Tech live is it's a really focused show to things um, related to the industry, um, so so there's, every conversation is very focused. Uh, you know, there's a lot of software companies here, there's a lot of event organisers here, um, and it's, it's it's very much focused to you know the events industry. Uh, so a lot of conversations are um, originating from you know existing customers and existing partners and seeing familiar faces, and it's a really really good opportunity to meet uh, clients and, and and you know contacts that you've been talking to and working with for years anyway um, and that's that, that's why I personally love Event Tech Live it just gives me an opportunity to see everyone under one roof and that's it you know we, we've been talking about you know the network the community and they're saying watching from home fantastic if you can't make it here but actually being here in person these are the quality conversations that you know the relations the relationships you can really develop to say get yourself down here if you're not booked on already there's still time to get here tomorrow folks but in terms of one world rental tell us a bit more about what you guys do you know the products the services you offer and maybe the problems you guys solve yeah well, i mean we've been trading now uh, coming on to our 14th year uh, we started up here in london uh, we've got 12 locations around the world uh, we're constantly growing more and more depots in different geographic locations and uh, essentially our business provides uh, technology on a rental basis uh, but then also deployment of that technology for events pretty much anywhere in the world uh, so we have got 12 uh, depots now in 10 countries uh, we continue to expand in that we're in asia uh, singapore melbourne us uh, canada and of course uh, um, right here at home in the uk as well um, so companies come to us that uh, who have a fantastic software solution and they need to deploy that. So they may need hardware, they may need people on site, uh, they may need operational logistics support in order to drive their events and, and drive the technology needed for that event. Um, and that's where we come into it anywhere in the world. Fantastic. And in terms of development and products and stuff, have you got anything sort of new, exciting, fresh to go that our audience might get? Maybe, maybe a sneak peek, a little snippet into sort of coming up in the future? Well, I think um, um, AR and VR is, is really developing a lot into the event space. There have been some changes uh, with, with, with Oculus and Metro in recent months as well, which has really allowed the industry to, uh, to grow within the space of AR and VR. Um, we um, also are seeing um, a huge amount of uptake in, in technology rentals for uh, the education sector, for exams, which are now going paperless. Um, and networking and Wi-Fi is, is, is also you know a very a very key thing here. I think I think these days Wi-Fi for any event is is, is a necessity, um, and um, it has to be provided. It has to be provided for free. So we're finding a lot of organisers are having conversations with our team about how they can have public Wi-Fi, event Wi-Fi for 10, 20, 30 thousand people, um, and that's fine if you're in a location like Excel. But if you're doing an event in a desert or in a golf course, um, or you know. Um, a music festival somewhere on the French Alps then you know it can get challenging and that's where you need to bring people up one more rental into your event. Wow, I, was say, I think next time I'm in the desert I'll be giving you a call and uh, I say those whoever you know works in events I'm sure event planners we've all had those unusual requests and like you say when we need those technology solutions it's good to have those people and the names that we need to go to so fantastic stuff and in terms of the company you know I know you said you're, you're spread all over the world offices all over the place how's it going are you developing are you still growing how's the last sort of 12 months been for you guys? Uh, last uh Last seven months, six months have been have been uh, um, a roller coaster. Uh, we're in a rocket ship. Um, 
the um, the COVID kind of you know, 18, 18 months, two years of COVID pretty much came to an end, I would say, uh, in, in, in Europe and US earlier on this year. And uh, uh, we saw the last effects of that kind of really wear off in Australia and the APAC region uh, in the last few months. So we're seeing huge amounts of growth. Uh, so we're back to, uh, to you know, opening up more depots and, and essentially kind of opening up a couple of new depots every year. Um, our plan is very much to continue the growth. Uh, we're very excited about our expansion in the US. Uh, we now have two locations in America um, and also another two locations in Canada as well. So having four locations uh, across North America um, means that we're really able to deliver for our clients a very consistent service and solution. Um, what's great about One More Rental is if you're looking for hardware, or if you're doing a roadshow as, as an organizer in six different countries and you want consistent deployment of your technology, then we essentially do that by giving almost an identical service in, in you know six, eight, nine different locations, um, which, which really does you know um, separate us. Um, so yeah, the growth uh, in, in, in US is, is is our key thing at the moment, um, and our depot pipeline um, for the next six months to year is uh, Saudi Arabia. We're uh, we're working quite hard to open up a Saudi Arabian depot. Uh, which uh, is, is, is really exciting with the development and the events seen in, in that region over there. Um, and um, we're, we're also really excited about Japan and New Zealand as well uh, for, from APAC. So really, I mean, it's, it's essentially everywhere. We've deployed technology on oil rigs in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. We've done Papua New Guinea, Fiji, and, and you know, we do the Excel every weekend. So um, uh, for us, it's, um, you know, we're, we're, we're really trying to, to grow and, and be in every, in every part of the world. I say it does. It does sound absolutely fantastic. You know that, that it's the consistency. I think is a, a big, a big plus for you guys. I say having that global reach, the consistency of service. You know, which is you set your standards, you can deliver them all over the world, which is an amazing uh, feat to do. So congratulations to you guys. In terms of you know actually coming to the show like this, why do you choose to come to Event Tech Live? You know, year on year, as you've done for many years. What is it about this show as opposed to other shows that makes you think I want to be part of that? Well, I think I think. Kind of the name really just says it, right? Um, Event Tech Live. It's a very focused show. Uh, so what, what I personally really enjoy about Event Tech Live is, is um, you know, it's it's not completely filled with venues and and kind of other supplementary things for events. It's really very much focused on event technology um, and bring in you know event technology professionals together. Um, this is a great show for people to come down in because it's it's an opportunity to really kind of grow some ideas and, and talk. To other companies and other other you know experts and professionals, like for example, on our stand today, we have technicians, we have people from our operations team, um, as well as our sales guys, and and the conversation they're having is more about uh, sharing ideas and uh, you know listening to our, our, our clients' problems, sharing solutions, sharing other experiences, um, and that that's what makes Event Tech Live you know absolutely fantastic because it's more of a a learning opportunity in many ways than it is you know a, a traditional trade show. Well, that's it because you know I was uh, I, I spoke to Adam Parry, obviously co-founder of Event Tech Live. Yesterday he came on uh, at the end of the virtual day yesterday, and he was saying the content we've got this year is is incredible, and it is. You know, we, if, I don't know how much you've looked at the agenda. Obviously, I know you're busy on your stand, but in terms of an experience from, like you said, about learning. There's just something for everyone. Anyone with, you know, event planners, AV companies, people who do specific technology for streaming. There's just something for everybody here this year. And I say, in terms of gleaning that knowledge, I think this is an amazing place to be. Um, I'm just saying that's why having a look. I say you can't see it off camera, but the show, the floors, the aisles, they are full today. We've got a real buzz uh, back in like this event. And I say, in terms of the XL. Do you think that's made a difference having a different venue this year? Or do you just think it's people are just desperate to get back and uh, have a good time together? Well, I mean, I, th I think the Event Tech Live is, is always a success no matter where it is. But I think uh, uh, coming to the Excel really demonstrates the growth and development of Event Tech Live and, uh, and um, Adam's essentially kind of, you know, vision for the show. Um, it's, it's kind of really put Event Tech Live on the map as a really, really strong international show. Um, I know my social media feed had you know, photos of people on planes, you know, to flying in and so on and so forth. So I think the XL uh, kind of just puts that stamp on it, really. Fantastic. And final thought from you, if somebody's thinking about coming, there's I, I might go, it looks good. I'm thinking about it. What would you say to them? Oh, yeah, a absolutely. I mean, you know, if you can get to, to, to XL, definitely do. It's, uh, it's uh, far better to be here in person than it is, uh, you know, um, on the virtual thing. I hate to admit it, but I haven't actually logged into the virtual event yet. And I know it started yesterday. 
Well, we could fall out with you there. Uh, <laughs> you missed an absolutely fantastic day, I have to say. Well, thank you very much for your time. I say it's been a pleasure, and thank you very much for being a guest on our show. There we go, ladies and gents. We are going to take a short break, but don't go away because we're going to be back with another fantastic industry professionals in just a moment.